Today I'm telling you about an engine problem that affects all modern 16 valve engines and basically it's uh, sticking valves and the valves are in the top part of the engine here. Now symptoms of this are the fact that you may start your car up in the morning, back out of your drive or drive down to the end of the street and the engine cuts out and will not start for love nor money and by the time a mechanic has come out and checked it or whatever it will suddenly start. Now this is quite common on modern engines because they're made to such fine tolerances. If you miss a service or you don't fit the correct oil, it will cause you problems. Now a way for you to diagnose if you've got these problems is quite simply to drive the car down the road in first gear and redline it right to the max uh, on the rev counter and then very quickly change into fifth gear and carry on driving. Now if the car misfires and sort of messes around you know you've got a sticking valve problem if it just drives normally then your problem lies elsewhere now to actually repair it you might get away with just a simple oil change or changing to the correct grade of oil however if that doesn't fix it then you're going to have a major strip down which is the cylinder head being taken off by the garage and thoroughly cleaned and stripped and possibly some new bits and pieces fitted inside it that's quite expensive so hopefully that won't affect you but just that this is a major tip I'm going to give you now. If your car has got sticking valves, don't ignore it. Because if you continue to drive it and it misfires and cuts out, you're actually allowing fuel to go down the exhaust and that will contaminate your catalytic converter. So come MOT time, not only are you going to have to have your sticking valves fixed, but you're going to have to shell out another few hundred pounds to repair your exhaust system catalytic converter as well. So there you go, that's sticking valves and hopefully it won't affect you.